Hello mathematicians, today we're going to talk about real world uh, problems using arc length and sector area. Uh, we're going to start with our first problem. Just like we would in the classroom, I'm going to annotate the word problem as we're going. And if you would like to annotate your word problems, you can screenshot them and use Snapchat or Kami just like we did on parts of circles. Okay, this first problem says, a clock has an hour hand of length four inches. That's the short hand on the clock. The long hand is the minute hand. What is the length of the distance it travels from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m.? So if we're talking about distance uh, with these hands on a clock, we're talking about the arc that we're creating from 10 p.m. over here to 1 a.m. Highlighted in black. That's the distance or L if we want to use the variable we used on our last notes. We know from our last notes that L equals theta times 2 pi r over 360. We're going to use that formula here. We just need to figure out what these uh, variables are. Well, if we're talking about the length of the hour hand, that is our radius. So our radius is 4. And to find our angle, our theta from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. right here, think of it as a fraction of the entire clock. So from 10 to 1 is 1, 2, 3 total hours, or 3 hours, out of 12 total hours on the clock times 360. That's going to equal 90 degrees. So theta over here is going to be 90. Now, just like on our last notes from here, you can go uh, and use Desmos or you can find exact form. And that's going to come out to 6.28 inches approximated. or two pi, and this is arc length, so our unit is inches. Here's our second problem. It says, Adam and Timmy are playing darts. They measure the dartboard and find a diameter of 45 centimeters. What would be the combined area of the sections? 17, 13, and 20 points. Well, that would be this section. Here's 13 over here. Here's seven over here. So that's three of our sections. So we know from our we know from our last notes that the formula for the area of a sector, an area of a portion of a circle, will be theta times pi r squared. Uh, we weren't actually given our radius. We were given our diameter this time. So that would be the entire length across. To find the radius, we need to divide the diameter by two. So 45 divided by two going to be 22.5. We also need to find theta and we'll do that the same way that we did on the clock. We had three sections that we shaded in. I'm going to count the total number of sections. I'm going to start at 20 so I don't double count anything. So 3 out of 20 times 360. So our angle is going to be 54 degrees. So now let's substitute that in. I 
Again, we can use Desmos for this. And this is area, so it's not just going to be centimeters, it'll be centimeters squared. So the area of those three sections is 238.56 centimeters squared. Here's a little shortcut that will work with either of these. Theta over 360 is really just a ratio telling us how much of the circle we're taking up. Instead of having to convert our angle or find our angle, we can just use these fractions. So if you want a shortcut, here the area would be 3 twentieths of the area of the circle. Be 3 over 20 pi 22.5 squared and you would receive the same answer. Same thing will work down here. Instead of theta over 360, we'll just take the fraction 3 over 12 times 2 pi r And again, we'll be left with an, area, or an arc length of 6.28 inches. So you can ignore this theta over 360 and instead just use the fraction of the circle that's being taken up. Okay, thank you guys. I hope you learned a lot. Let us know if you need any help or you have more questions. Come to tutoring, make good choices. If you don't, learn from your mistakes. See you guys later.